Hello, my name is Jill Phillips, and I'm a co-owner of Squeals on Wheels, a traveling petting zoo and pony rides. My name is John Phillips. We have horses, miniature horses. We have miniature llamas and alpacas. Chickens, ducks. We have bearded dragons. Our website is www.squealsonwheels.us. When piglets from small parents are born, they can, they can honestly fit into a teacup. Some of the little baby piggies are only um, three to five ounces big. So that's where the, the term teacup originated. Um, obviously, none of the pigs stay that size, and there's no standardization um, or there's no standardization or agreed upon terms for all the different variety of words that are used to discuss uh, miniature pig breeds. There's, um, there's mini pigs, ultra mini pigs, teacup pigs, uh, dandies, uh, ultra extreme miniature pigs, micro mini pigs, extreme micro mini pigs. There's so many different terms. So you really have to do your research. When somebody says that they're selling a teacup pig, you really have to find out what does that mean. It's not always best to buy them long distance and have them flown in. For example, um, our daughter quite a few years ago bought our first miniature pig and we had it flown in from South Carolina. And the lady said, oh, it's not gonna be any bigger than 25 pounds. Within about two years, it was over 100 pounds. So Mr. Benny definitely was not a small miniature pig. Miniature pigs are a delightful animal. They are the third most intelligent animal behind the dolphin family and the primate family, um, monkeys, and monkeys and chimpanzees. And pigs are, are incredibly smart. You can train them to do almost anything. They're very food oriented. But please, the most important thing is do your research, try and see the size of the parents, and that will give you a very good indication what the how big your little piggy is going to get.